a Taiwanese startup that provides couriers for domestic waste pickup, has faced criticism for repeatedly missing scheduled pickup times, resulting in piles of trash accumulating outside customers' homes. Initially, the business model allowed users to choose convenient pickup times, which received praise for its flexibility. However, it is now receiving backlash for failing to adhere to the agreed-upon schedules. Many customers took to the company's Facebook fan page to express their complaints, with one customer highlighting that their trash had not been collected for two consecutive weeks. After contacting the company to report the issue, the trash was finally collected a day later. The customer also mentioned that their calls had been declined and their messages ignored by the company. An ex-employee maliciously deleted our official line account upon departure, preventing us from receiving or responding to customer messages. Additionally, due to an influx of phone calls, unintentional oversight has led to the inadvertent missing of several calls. The business explained that due to the increasingly hot weather, many employees chose to resign, resulting in a shortage of staff. On average, the trash collecting service is responsible for picking up waste from 20 to 30 apartments per day. In cases of heavy loads, a second car is often needed for transportation. However, due to the staff shortage, the driver frequently has to handle these tasks alone, while the company reports a 20% decrease in employees. It is essential to ensure the collection of all trash before proceeding to our next destination. As the volume of waste grows, we sincerely apologize to our customers and strive to recruit adequate personnel to complete the task efficiently. To address customer dissatisfaction, the company is now offering refunds and discounts to existing customers. During the hot summer days, services that require employees to be active outdoors may encounter similar staffing challenges in the coming months. Zhang Huixian, Vivian Xiao, TVBS World Taiwan.